right? I'm going to admit, I haven't had the best weekend in terms of hill climb results. Need a bit of help. If anyone is willing to help but pull that out, then uh, let us know. So we're going to do a bit of power analysis. Very disappointing in terms of my numbers this weekend. I mean, I still did all right in terms of placing, but I was a bit annoyed that I didn't do better. Um, based on training, nothing else. Like, it wasn't like, oh, I could do that. It was um, based on training. So uh, we're just going to go through, like, my first hill climb um, and everything else. So first hill climb, Dursley Road Club. I uh, managed to get eighth, which is pretty good. I did 380 watts um, for five minutes and nine seconds. I was 61 kilos on the day, so about 6.3 watts per kilo, 6.2. So not bad, not bad. Pretty happy with that, to be honest. Um, and then, you know, obviously, you know, wax some training. Um, this is the, the following week after. We were doing our three-minute intervals at 356, um, and then sort of a bit higher, 356, 356. But we, we got these up to, like, 360. Um the following week uh so we were really improving the numbers um which was good to see um also that then that, that following week as well uh we were doing some six minute efforts at 330 watts um which normally is about 105 percent of ftp so i was thinking oh my ftp is like 317 um which before i thought was 303 so i was like you know what i'm going really well training is going really really well i had a whole climb that weekend i didn't do very well but you know, it was quite a flat effort, didn't suit me that in terms of like generating power. So I was like, fair enough, the power is down. Um, so this is the three minute efforts I was talking about before. This is the following week. And you saw they were 356 before. Um, these are all, you know, well over 360, most of these, which is really, really good. So super happy training's going well. Um, we then do some 3015s um, in the same week, just before this hill climb. And I'm really excited. So I was doing these 3015s. They're only quite short ones, only seven minutes, 3.30 average. I was like, wow, I'm flying. Um, you know, the on the on periods here was like 396 watts. Um, most of these, which was, was just really, really solid. That's four or five. Man, I was like, we're doing well. Oh, we're doing well. And I had um, my first hill climb of the weekend was Sodbury. I came fourth. So, like, um, I can't be too disappointed. It's my best result in an open hill climb. But the power was really, really poor, um, to be honest. I did 382, I weighed 60 kilos on the day, so 6.4, um, this is when I was 59, I, I've changed it because, lol, um, so not bad, like for sure, like not bad, but really like 382, I was expecting a lot more than that to be honest, like not a lot, but I was expecting maybe 10 watts more than that, because I thought, you know, for this sort of effort, I thought I'd gain more power, but I felt dead, I felt like really like I couldn't push very hard my heart rate was really really high I didn't measure my heart rate th on this one but the next one I did and I felt like I couldn't I was just like very nervous and like I couldn't push I didn't feel like normally like lactate through my legs cadence okay it's a little bit higher than normal which some people might say but I really couldn't work it out and I was as so I went through it and I said okay what do we do differently to normal warm up same warm up Okay, it was colder than normal, so I thought maybe we had cold air, we descended before the climb, and then waited around, so I said maybe it's that, I think it could be that. So the next day, we had poor luck, and I thought, okay, we're going to do what we learned from yesterday. Warm up, same, as close as possible to the start, park at the bottom, did that, so turn up, feeling good. I'm like, right, we're going to do well, we're going to do well, we're going to do well. Aim for the day was ambitious, 340. But I thought first five, 330, 335, and we reassess. Okay, it's a 15 minute climb ish, 7k, 5, 6%, nothing crazy. So, but what you can see straight away is the heart rates are ridiculous 196 beats a minute for 17 minutes. And I'm like, that is like the highest I've ever had it. I had it in Australia once when I had a really high heart rate, same sensations, couldn't push hard, felt really, um, I guess the best way to describe it is just like lactate out, like your body's full, full of lactate, you can't push, you can't breathe, you can't do the deep breaths, you feel like you're just like, like sort of hyperventilating, which, you know, you can hold for a bit, but you can't hold forever. So, you know, if we look at the, the numbers, you know, we did 5.7 for the first six minutes, 40. My best ever power, 5.7 for 20, right, last year, 350 at 61 kilos. Unreal, okay? Like, not, I mean, I'm not trying to big myself up here. I'm not that good at bike riding a bike, but pretty good. Like, not horrendous at all, for sure. Um, so I was like, okay, this is good. This is what I expected. I didn't feel too bad, but you can see the heart rate. I mean, on the line, okay, it's 139, 
Um, I think the lowest it said it got was one one twenty eight, but I mean, really, as soon as I got an effort, it was straight up. Okay, so good response. That means you know you're not tired. The other thing I forgot to mention was on Sodbury. I thought potentially I wasn't tired enough, and that might sound weird. But sometimes if you come really fresh to an effort, your body's not so used to it. And that could be why your heart rate is really high. So after Sodbury, I did some efforts. I did a ride afterwards. I was like, no, today we shouldn't be tired. Um, to be honest, in the warm up, I felt good. Um, my heart rate was high maybe, but we're going to get into why that is in a minute. And you can, might be able to guess why. Okay, so we do the first seven minutes, eight minutes, 332. Everything's fine. We had... A couple sharp hairpins where you know you, you, you couldn't really pedal, it was a bit gravelly, you don't want to take the risk. 5.6 was per kilo, ideal. VAM, 1400, not bad, but the end was a mad, mad taily, right? So, you know, if we'd paced it 336 and then, you know, it, it stayed similar, but I mean, you can already tell I did 310 watts for 16 minutes, so something went badly wrong. And what went badly wrong was this last seven minutes, but not even my last seven minutes. If we look at the, the first 12, we're still on 320 watts. So like, you know, it was we were starting to blow up, but you can see here, 326, 327. That's, okay, it would have been disappointing if I finished with that. But it wouldn't have been too surprising considering my last 20 minute test, I didn't do it all because any reasons. We would have got 320, maybe a little less, maybe 318. So, you know, eight watts, and I hadn't done too much threshold, but I'd done quite a lot of threshold stuff. So, but anyway, we thought it was gonna be higher. But this last bit, man, I was creeping. This last two minutes, I was doing like 260 watts and just dying. And you can see my heart rate starts to feel up. I can't, literally can't push anymore. Like I was just, lacked, I just like wanted it to end. I was like, I've never felt so bad on a bike before. And it was really disappointing to be honest, because obviously I'd driven quite a long way to get there and stuff. And I was really excited. It's like a beautiful climb. And you know, I'm not disappointed about the numbers. I don't care. Like if that's my best result, that's my best result. But I knew I could go harder, which is like not harder. I couldn't go harder, but on, I don't know how best to put it, but I knew I had more in the tank based on my training data. I was like, you know, I should be able to do 330. If I can do 30 15s, three times seven at, at you know, 330, I was doing those six minute 30 intervals at like 336. You know, that that is an indication, or at least to me, that I had more in the tank. So it was like, well, what is it? And I think, it sounds really obvious, but I think it's the caffeine. So you don't know, I literally don't have caffeine ever, pretty much. I have a BK, um, which, you know, isn't great, but we're not drinking that much at the moment at all, pretty much. Um, maybe a pint or two in a week, but that, like pretty much none. So that's really good. But I have it before races and I find it really helps. And obviously, you know, it was banned by water and stuff. Like it is performance enhancing. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, I, I'm not going to get addicted to anything. I don't really like, I like it, but I, I know it's quite bad for you, um, especially on the day you know, and I've been, you know, I've been experimenting, I guess I'm lighter than I ever have been before, you know, like last hill climb season when I was doing it, like in 2018, before my crash, I was 61, 62, and now I'm 59, you know, around that, like, so two, three kilos lighter, and obviously my caffeine tolerance is maybe slightly high, but I think I overestimated it, so on Dursley, I think I took 150 and was fine, and then I was like, oh, I'll do 200, at the Swindon one, and I didn't feel great, but I thought oh, I was a flat climb. So before Sodbury, I took 200, and I think that wasn't great, and I took it quite far, not very far forward, like just before the event, and I think that wasn't ideal. So that's one thing, definitely, the caffeine. And I think on Porlock, I took 250, because I was like, I didn't really feel that much yesterday, but yeah, I was stupid. So I think that's my biggest takeaway. My biggest takeaway is just gonna be the caffeine. Number two, I think I'm not gonna try to lose too much more weight. I think 59 is good. We might go 58, but I think, We'll see, like, if it's the caffeine issue, then we'll, we'll maybe get 58 um, and see, like, I don't, like, the, I, I've never been light as this and actually raced before. Um, I'm normally 61 because in road races in the UK, there's no point being light. It doesn't help you. If I'm 69, 61 or 59, it's irrelevant. What, the reason I'm going to get spat is because of my numbers. So I only concentrate about the numbers, eat as much as I want. Obviously, I don't eat shit, but, you know, um, I, eat, I eat well. Um, but you know, I can stay 61, no effort pretty much. Um, but obviously 59 is, is like, you know, I really have to watch what I eat and stuff. Um, and you know, you know, like in January I was like 63, 64. So I've lost, you know, a fair amount of weight, but not, not crazy. I mean, obviously in January I was barely riding a bike and all the rest of it, um, because of whatever, well, just basically injuries and terrible weather. So I think that's basically what I think it's down to. I think it's just caffeine too much, knock it down maybe to a hundred milligrams this weekend, see how we are and maybe maybe none because in training i never take any so before training 
you know, I think the other, so before training, I take none. And I think the second takeaway from this, so one is caffeine. Number two, I think is food, is that I'm not eating enough before hill climbs. Because I think normally, like, so 2018, again, I go back to that because that's the only real time I've done hill climbs properly. I have big bowl of oats, but I feel like that doesn't sit well in my stomach. I feel like it, I, my lungs can't expand enough. So today I had like a smoothie, logged a lot of sugar in it because I realized the day before I thought maybe I hadn't eaten enough. But again, like I, lo I looked at the ca what the calories would be, you know, roughly figuring it out. It would have only been like 400 calories or something. And I think before my hill climb, before like interval efforts, I normally eat like an 800 calorie breakfast, 700 calorie breakfast. So I normally have like same smoothie, like blueberries, oats. I don't have oats on the weekend as well. So maybe that's another reason. Normally hill climb is like, so intervals is blueberries, um, like frozen fruit um, medley sort of thing with frozen blueberries, banana, uh, almond milk, um, a lot of that all together and then whack like 150 grams of rice and soy um, just for the carbs. But I don't do that because I'm always worried like our oh, water weight, et cetera, et cetera. You know, obviously when you have salt, you gain more water weight and you know, this is irrelevant, but I don't, in hill climbs, it's like every little bit. So, you know, you might as well try. Um, and yeah, so I think I'm going to try that next weekend. Definitely on my hill climbs, I'm going to try and eat a bit more. So I'm going to have a bit of rice, maybe not, maybe not have yeast, nutritional yeast sounds wrong and it is wrong and, but have no, like that because obviously it's not salty. Um, and then have on my smoothie as normal, maybe add a bit more sugar, maybe add like, you know, 20 grams of oats or something see how we are minimal caffeine and the other thing is cadence is that obviously like on these efforts i was doing 85 cadence like if you don't know me i used to be super high cadence i really don't like the cadence that much but i think you know generally i find 85 86 is fine so that, that was the other thing i was thinking is like is it cadence is it cadence but then so you can see like here i really dropped the cadence because i wanted well number one i couldn't push you know when you're struggling you can't push cadence um but like yeah that, i think i think that's um that's that's not really the thing i think it's as we said before food and and caffeine i think is, is the thing so we're gonna we're gonna try and learn from this obviously like you know it doesn't matter that much like i'm not gonna win this event like i came 21st like realistically i might have been able to cop a top 10 on an unreal day but i definitely could have gone better and for me like hill climbs i love them because i'm not really competing against anyone in some sense like obviously i love to get a result but it's more me like sodbury I came fourth, like, if I didn't have a power mirror, I'd be pretty happy with that, right? Because I wouldn't know, like, how I'd done. So oh, I got a good result. But because you have the power, you know you had more in the tank. And you know that you could have came second or third and got on the podium. Like, I'm not going to beat my mate. My mate Carl was flying this weekend. He won this one, came third. Um, He's busted down over six horse per kilo for 15 minutes. He's, he's absolutely flying at the moment. The man's going to get a power mirror. My God, his numbers are going to be off the chart. So we'll be excited to see that. But, um... You know, I mean, I climbed 1,300 bam. It, it was a fat tailie. That's why I'm going so fast. It, and, and, and But yeah, I mean, we got some top 10 because <laughs> the GPS well, messed up. But, you know, it's not horrendous. 23k an hour for 11 uh, on a 6% climb. I mean, it's not bad, is it? Like 5.3 watts per kilo for 16, 17 minutes. I mean, last, as I always say, like, I have pressure on myself. But then, like, last year, this time last year, I rode, like, half an hour <laughs> at, like, 90 watts. And that was, like, I was gone. Couldn't couldn't recover. So obviously like, progress has been really good for sure. But I know I've got more in the tank, and I think to be honest, I don't think I'm that far off what I, I was in 2018. You look at my results 2018 and this year, they're pretty similar. Like genuinely, I don't think I'm actually that far off. I think my power meter reads a bit more accurately this year as well. But anyway, so I think going forward, I'm I'm really happy with my training numbers, and I'm really happy that you know my big base has worked. I'm gaining watts every single week on the intervals I'm doing. Um, which is really good news. And I think ultimately we just need to look at race day a little bit, figure out exactly why I'm having this really high heart rate and like not being able to push hard enough. Um, I think I'm gonna, you know, tweak it. I've decided not to do two races this weekend um, and just sort of really concentrate on one. I've got one on Sunday, Warbury Hill Climb. I think Yusuf said he's doing it, so can't wait to see you, lad. Um, I'm seated like seven from last. I wanna put in a good performance and not try and get a lap by my minute man. Um, so we're going to really concentrate on that. It's like a four minute climb, three minute climb. So just really, you know, try and hit seven watts per kilo or more for that effort um, and see where we go. Um, but yeah, if you have any, obviously I really need help. So if you've got any like experience with this or anything, please let me know. Cause I like, it'd be really good if other people know what, what's up. Uh, it'd be very useful. Uh, I think the biggest telling thing from this whole day is 10 minutes, 5.6, 15, 5.4, 16. 3, 5.3. Yeah. 
uh, last minute and a half was uh, horrendous. Um, but there we go. Um, cheers for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.